Welcome back down into the basement here. I'm Dan and this is the Elric Expat Evo 5 bass. And to my right, we also have an Elric Expat Evo 4 uh, fretless model for you to check out in this review too. First of all, with this five string, let's go and uh, have a look at the old headstock end of things. We have got a nice set of ultra lightweight hip shot tuners onto an angled back headstock. I'll flip the base over as usual. We'll have a quick look at uh, what's going on behind the headstock. Here we go. And we have a wonderful maple neck here. Go back over again. There we go. Like so. Nice, as I said, flip back headstock with a zero fret here. And then that's going onto a Wenge fretboard. And this has a 16 inch radius on it. Moving down the neck, we've got these very nice, smaller sized markers. Smart, like so. Up on this 24 fret neck. Coming up onto this wonderful, wonderful piece of wood. This is a swamp ash body, uh, super lightweight, super resonant. Very, very nice indeed. And we'll flip the base over again and have a look at the, uh, the back of the body in all, all its glory as well. Okay, here we go. Like so. Like that. And there's a, a five bolt connection here for this bolt on neck. And uh, another really cool thing to just have a close look at here. This is superb. So this is a, is a laser cut compartment. So here, you can barely see it's even there. The actual compartment for the controls and the grain looks absolutely spot on. Looks like flipping back over the other side like that. Around we go past that lovely kind of body carve around the back of here. Ultra comfortable. And uh, on to the hardware. This is the bit we like. We've got a couple of Bartolini pickups here, and there's also a Bartolini active circuit on board as well. And that gives us the options of the following. We have master volume and a pan control between the two pickups. And we also have bass, middle, and treble. That's an active EQ circuit. Uh, the active EQ circuit can be bypassed, so the bass runs completely passively, um, which gives us uh, a nice set of options between a more a passive sound or being able to switch to for another playing style, for a slap bass, for example. Um, and the other little toggle switch here is setting up three different frequencies available for that middle control. So if you uh, need a more of a low mid-range kind of boost or cut, then that's available all the way up to a higher mid-range kind of uh, cut or boost. I'm going to demonstrate that. Um, just so you can hear that in action on this particular bass. Round the back here, nice, nice big uh, chunky bridge there and this lovely black as well to match all the fixtures and fittings. Um, really pleased to see that as usual on basses, as you know if you watch my reviews. Okay, let's have a listen to the bass and some of its sounds available. I'm going to leave it in um, active mode and we'll just scroll through some of the different sounds on here. I'm not going to go through absolutely everything. Oh, we'll be here for quite a while. There's uh, quite a, uh, a lot available on this instrument. So first of all, let's listen to the pickups 
and we're going to just solo those front first, back second, with a bit of uh, finger style and slap style. Okay, volume up, and this is the front pickup on its own. A little bit of finger style. A bit of thumb action. Excellent. Round to the bridge pickup. Same again, bit of finger style. Here we go. Nice mid-range there, nice bit of bite, great with finger style. Let's have a listen to some uh, thumb work. And then just to finish it off, um, we had a nice intro with some finger style there, so let's get a bit of thumb action on both pickups together. Sounds like this. Excellent. Let's have a little look at the uh, EQ settings on this bass as well. So background here, as I said before, we've got bass, middle and treble and a switchable frequency on the mid range as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sweep around these controls a little bit so you can hear what's going on with each of them. So this is the uh, bass control. Um, let's uh, give it some extra boost. Here we go. And then scooping it back out. So this is uh, quite a lot of cut on the low end. Let's have a listen to this. There's a lot gone there actually. So the actual uh, meat and potatoes of the instrument, if you want to call it that, there's quite a lot to go by scooping out. Um, that goes to show that there's a lot of boost and cut available from this Active EQ. So normally you probably wouldn't cut away that amount. Let's have a listen if we just take a little bit out instead. Here we go. There you go, that's a little bit better actually. Um, so I'd be very, very careful with uh, cutting out too much from this particular instrument. There's lots of lovely mids available in the instrument though, so it's got a nice uh, resonant tone to it. 
Okay, let's um, go and have a look at the treble control and I'm going to save the mid-range for last with that switchable frequency range. Okay, so um, for the intro I've got it slightly boosted. Um, so let's just uh, zing it all the way out and we can have a listen to um, what the top end holds for this particular instrument. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Lovely, that's really cool. Let's go the other way and then we'll just take away some of that top end. A nice softening there. Um, on this particular bass, I prefer a little bit of top end boost there. It brings out the lovely brightness of the Swamp Ash body and the Maple neck. Okay, let's move on to this mid range and we can hear what this has for us. We've got a three way switch over here. This is next to our active passive switch for bypassing the EQ. We'll save that to last. Um, three positions, top, middle, and bottom, like so. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost the mid-range so when we switch between the settings you can hear it change. Um, in the zero position it won't make any difference whatsoever because you're not boosting or cutting any of that mid-range. Okay, so top setting, lots of mid-range boost. Let's have a listen to this. Middle setting, here we go. And then finally, the uh, uh, lower setting, let's have a listen to this. So that particular setting is very, very useful for accentuating a slap bass sound. And I think the uh, setting uh, at the top of the control, this is with the mid-range boosted, I found that very, very useful for more of a finger style. It seemed to accentuate that lovely um, finger, I um, don't know how you can describe it actually, lovely mid-range. <laughs> Obviously that is just boosting. I can now just quickly run through that and can scoop around the other way. So we're in the top setting here. Let's have a listen to this very quickly. I lose quite a lot there in terms of volume and tone. Let's have a listen to the middle setting. This is again, extreme amount of scooping going on. Here we go. Uh, 
And then finally, uh, in the lower setting, here we go. Bring it up slightly, we're gonna get some of that volume back um, and a less extreme setting. And then finally, just to demonstrate, we've got the top setting with just a little bit of cut. Here we go. 